Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Barney here, Overtime Athletes with my man, Coach Troy. Coach Troy, appreciate yep, you. Yep, I appreciate you Absolutely. having me. Absolutely. Hey, so what we're going to get into is a skills training that he performed with some athletes, some basketball athletes. Troy, tell a little bit about what you guys got into in this session. Yeah, so a lot of today's session is about using change of speeds uh, to score, so efficient ways to score more points. Um, both of these guys are guys who are going to be able to play uh, with mismatches, meaning guys that might be a little bit smaller than them. So how to efficiently use your body to create space to score points. So easy ways, quick ways to get to your jump shot, get more shots off, score more points. Beautiful. All offense. I love it. Hey, if you guys are interested in a skills training complete program, check out Elite Basketball Academy by yours truly down below in the link down below. Enjoy the video. Just curl off it. Cass, let's start with like little floats. Instead of like a shot where you're flicking it, push that thing up. Just come around it, curl it, start it with some flows, get that body going. That was four or five. Other side, same thing, other side. Get that thing up. Left hand now, left hand. Kobe side. Yes, sir. A little bit more of like an extended curl, so the screen's more like right here now. Come off, cat. Let's go kind of what we did yesterday. We're one dribble into the body, a little bit of a fade. One dribble there, jump stop into the body, fade, get that thing up. Stand a curl, one dribble, keep getting the body going into them, fade. Perfect, perfect. Stand a curl, one dribble into the body, fade. Yup, yup. Yes, sir. You like that move better off one foot or off two? You like it off one? No matter, it's whatever you're comfortable with. As long as you're getting into that body, it's all the same thing. Yeah. It's whatever you're comfortable with there, bro. It, don't it doesn't really matter. That was five. Other side, other side. Same thing that side. Big pro hop into his body. Yeah. That's the one. That's the one. Good rep. Yeah, you shoot that shot a lot off one. How you guys feeling? Need some more warm-up stuff or? How you feeling? Do you need more warm-up stuff or are you good? All right, let's do like semi-transition stuff today. I want to basically work this one movement and just hit counters off of it. So coming in, all we're doing is a change of speed. You're here with your right hand. Standing up big and tall right here. We're exploding low towards the middle. This first one we did yesterday. You're into the body, exploding off it, shooting that mid-range in here. So if Cove's guarding me. Semi-transition, you caught it here. It's one dribble, explode into him, get off it, pull up there. You can just go back and forth, just go back and forth. Stand up big, change speeds, into my body, get off it, yep. Try to really come into me on that coat. Really come into me before you get off it. Come up into me, get off it, yeah. Yeah, try to like stand me up there. Instead of just like bumping off me, try to stand me up before you get off it. Good, yeah. Yes, sir. The set, good rep. Yeah, perfect. Change speeds quicker, change speeds into it. Go on, yeah. Big time, Cole. Into me, get off it, yeah. Perfect, perfect. All right, same thing here. Same movement to start. The read here is if you have him more on your back now, so instead of him right here on your side, he's more on your back. You're gonna keep that dribble alive and pro hop back across his body. So what we're trying to do here is, instead of letting him run alongside you right here where he can get a contest, if you're sidestepping back this way, right here, he's gonna have to come over there and then you got all this room to finish here. So slice him back across my body. Once you beat him with that initial push, slice him back across him, finish it up high there, up over the square. There, back across me, yeah, exactly, perfect. 
Yep, perfect call. <laughs> yeah, perfect. And I'd almost, instead of like, if you're coming here and you end up finishing like this, you're coming, you're already making them come this way, you're letting them swipe it. So as you come here, you're into them, then finish there at the rim. So you get away from them. <laughs> swipe that thing at the rim. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Got him. Perfect. Shoot one free throw each. One free throw each, we'll go other side. All right, same thing this side. On this initial move, you're not rushing into it. So I'm not here and then sprinting and then getting off. Once you get this dude on your hip, you can go as slow as you want to. So if I'm here and I got this dude on my hip, it might even be into him like this, reading the defense. Like if you got a help side here, who shows here because you have him beat, you might have to keep this guy on your hip for one second until he retreats and then come off it and shoot. So after this first push, don't rush into that one. You're here, you're into the body, boom, then you're exploding off it. Changing speed. Changing speed, not rushing it. Into me. Yeah, perfect. Great rep. Get him on your hip. There it is. Perfect. Good rep. Come into me. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good rep. Let me get off. Really good. All right, the same one now where we're slicing back across it. So this one's different. Like that last one, you're slow, you're getting into them. This one, you feel like you got to step on them and you want to slice back in front of them. So you got the help coming from this side. You beat them here. So that's why we're slicing back across here to get away from that help and creating this angle with your guy. <laughs> yeah. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, that's the one. Perfect, Cole. Slice it at the rim. Yeah. Slice him back at the rim. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. A lot of times, too, on this slice, if you slice here and he's still on your back, you could just let him run into you and flip it up. You're good at drawing fouls. You're good at that. If he's coming full speed on your back and you feel him, I might stop and just come straight back up into him and get a foul. <laughs> good rep, good rep. After it. Yep. One free throw, one free throw. So same thing on this one, you're here, standing him up, changing directions quick. We're going straight into a spin now. So you got a little guy on you, something like that, and he's swiping at it. Let's go spin straight into a pickup, finish up high. On this one, it's the same thing we talked about yesterday. If you're finishing at the rim layup, get it up over the square. If you're gonna dunk it, you can dunk it. But if you're gonna finish it as a layup, get it up high over the square. So the same thing, coming in with your left, exploding, spinning off it, finish that thing up high. Get it up nice and high. If you're gonna dunk it, you can dunk it. Spin off it. Yes, sir. Change the pace towards the middle. Spin off it. Up high, yeah. Change the pace, attack it, spin off it. Good footwork, good footwork. Just need three of these, just three of these. Yeah, good finish, make that thing up. Change the speeds, gone, spin off it. Hey! Change the speeds, quick spin. Finish. All right, off the same one. We kind of hit this a little bit yesterday. Getting in here, fake spin, straight into the turnaround. Big step, yeah, perfect. Good rep. Change the speed, fake spin, got him. Get up there, girl! Good footwork. Really good, man, that was a good rep. Not, you can fade on it, but make sure it's not here and bringing that ball all the way to right here to where you give them room to swipe it. You're here. It stays hidden, it stays on the side of your body while you're going up. Perfect. 
Same thing this side. So that first one is with the right, switching hands to your left, quick change of pace. He goes to cut it off, spin, finish it up high. Go on, spin on it, get it up, yeah. Try to get that thing up, try to get that thing up high. Child blocker's coming, he's coming to get it. He's coming, there it is. Yes sir, there it is. Smokey! Yeah. We're good, that was three of those. You're here. Spin, that's what sells it. Your shoulder drop, spin it back to it. So now as a lefty, this is the one where the ball's over here. Don't let it come back to here on this one. Keep that thing tucked away over there, go straight up in your shot. For you it's different. This, you're creating the space here with a big one of those. Cause you gotta kinda bring it back to the middle to get that thing up. So make sure you're selling that thing hard. Big one, yeah. Yep, perfect. Only difference is don't rush through it. You're here, instead of trying to get to it quick, take your time and make this guy think it's really spin all the way to there. Instead of trying to get it quick, sell that move first, then get to your fadeaway. Yeah, you good? Got him. Yes, sir. Gonna hide that thing. Yes, sir. Yep. Hey, spin, shot. Yep. We're changing speeds. This change speed is important on this one. So we're here, changing speeds. That last dribble is what we worked on a little bit yesterday where you're pounding, trying to get this guy to turn and sprint and coming back into a jump shot. So you're there at the end, back into a jumper. What's gonna sell this is a quick change of speed. So you're here, change of speed, boom, shot. Cause if you do this kind of slow and he doesn't have to turn his hips, he's gonna be able to stay on that. If you can change speeds real fast and get him to turn his hips, that's when that last pound dribble makes him take this big step and then you're back into it. So if you're changing speed slow here and kind of hitting it like this, like that, he's not gonna go anywhere. He's gonna be able to close that down. It's gotta be here. Change the speed, boom, back into it shot. Change your speeds hard, big pound. If you do all this the right way, the shot doesn't have to be rushed. If you're doing this the wrong way, you might have to rush it and it looks like a bad shot. Do this move hard so you can get your feet under you and get a nice under control shot off. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Good rep. So it's that same thing, like with the ball screen, this last pound gets this guy to turn and sprint under it. It's the same thought process here. Once you can get him to turn like this and take that step, that's when you have a beat. Yep, perfect, perfect, good shot. Good footwork, Kobe. All right, I don't want to like over, overdo it where it feels like you're doing three, four moves in one. All you're really doing, the change of speed, I wouldn't even call a move. This is really a two move thing. You're here pounding it, you're hesitating and you're crossing. So I'm here, pound, I'm hesitating and I'm crossing. On this cross, if you're on like the Euro three or NBA three, you're either gonna cross sideways so you're shooting a three or try to get towards the rim because you don't ever want to really shoot like uh, almost three, almost two. So kind of pick on this crossover. It's either here and I'm crossing at the rim or it's here, I'm crossing sideways to get another three up. So kind of pick one. Instead of making it right here where you're shooting a two with your feet on the line, pick either sideways to the three or at the rim. He's up, cross, perfect. Good rep. Yes, really good rep. As a take cross, perfect, go. Yep. Good hesitate, perfect. All right. 
Yeah. Yes, sir. Perfect, perfect. Great rep. Yeah, yep. Go footwork. Really good, really good. I'm gonna create space on that too, that was perfect. Good eyes, good eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep, let's just hit some trail jumpers just to get your body moving, hit, hit some jumpers with it. Go ahead and shoot five, all three spots again. Go out of the mid post here. Catch. So a couple of these, like if the guy's arm is on you, so come guard me here. If he's got his hand out on me on this hand, let's go where we're swiping through low, getting to this middle. So we're here, swiping through it into a step back shot. So this first move is slow. You're just trying to read where he's at. I'm here, I'm reading him, I'm here, I'm under it, stepping back, creating the space, getting it up. Real slow on that swipe through. There, under it, gone. Yep, exactly. Yep. I won't put my hand out on you because you're probably gonna you're probably doing this one when someone's like six nine, six ten guarding here trying to get under that arm. You're real slow, you got that arm up under it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two. Got him. Good space. Underneath it. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Same general idea, Cove's guarding me. This one's the one where we're here. Catch, same thing, but then coming into the body and finishing with a little bit of a fade. So you don't necessarily get all the way through him on that sweep through. He might stay with you. Coming into me, yeah, even more. So like, if I'm sweeping through here and it doesn't really go, he's here. I'm into his body, and then I'm finishing there. All the way up into him. Take that space away so we can't try to block it. Into me. Yep. Yep, you're good. All the way up into me. Stand me up. Use that body. Yep. Well, even if you need one more dribble to get to it, like this might be jump stop all the way to like right here. There's still help around here. That's why it might not be here finished at the rim. There might be a 6'10", 6'11", trying to get it. So you might even jump stop all the way into here, and then your fadeaway is just right there in front of the rim. Yeah, that's the one. Yes, sir. Yeah, exactly. That extra, that extra dribble. Oh, no. Away. Yep. Kind of what we were just doing, where if you catch it, feel like you got a mismatch, how do we turn this into a post up? So the same where we're putting it under our legs to start, usually if you're gonna turn it into a post up, it'd be because this side is clear and you know you wanna get to the block for a post up. So you're putting it under your legs and then turning this back hip into them. So that's how you turn it into a post up. Here we're going, turn it into a post up, getting in here to a spin fadeaway. Again, so you're from your right hand to your left, to your right to left. Boom, you're turning your hip into him. That's where the post up comes. Big step there, safe. Yep, exactly, exactly. So on that first one, try to take as, carve as much space as you can with this. So if I'm here, boom, try to carve some space there so that your next dribble, you're in that operational area. The least dribbles you can do here, the better. Carve space. Yes, real good, real good. Spin off it, yeah, yep. And the read here, if there's someone in the corner, so you have a help guy here, you might not go to this. If this side is clear and you got this mismatch, that's when this one comes into play. Uh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh. 
Love it, love it. Let's stay this side. Same footwork, same everything. Boom, turn into a posta. Fake spin, turn, use the glass, use the glass. Oh. Yes, sir. Yee. The full work, real good, real good. And sometimes if you feel like this move takes you to an angle where you're like in here, you don't have to bank it. I was just saying that so you feel it. If you're too deep corner, you don't have to bank that every time. Got him. Last one of these. So, you know you have a mismatch. Use that to your advantage sometimes. If I come here and I turn my body, a little guy's gonna do everything in his power to load up and down low and try to stop you from moving him. So on this one, that's what you're reading. You go into it, he tries to stand you up. I'm here, straight into a spin, finish it up high. So that's the read. If he's low trying to stand your ass up, just spin right back off it. And if he's trying to stand you up other side, then it'll be spin this way. So reading his footwork, if he's like this, you wanna take his top foot. But it, usually on this side, he's gonna load up like this. So if you can take that top foot and make him open up, that's where you got him. Just hit three of these. Yeah, exactly. Hey! Yes. Yep. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Spin off it, shot. Yeah. Real good, real good. Spin off. Yee! Now spin off it. Yeah, exactly. Take your time here. You got that little guy on you. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. You got the switch you want. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Uh, full work! <laughs> Deep corner. <laughs> yep. Now he's trying to stand you up. No, exactly. Yep. Feel that difference, right? Just take your time on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ain't no jellies out here. All right, so we did a lot of work today, like mid post, uh, using your body. Had a couple guys that might get some mismatches where they got smaller guys on them. So we did a lot of how to use your body to create different angles and different moves. Um, a lot of it is all based off simple change of speed, change of direction stuff, and a lot of counters out of that. So I hope you guys learned something from watching the video um, or just enjoyed watching it. So stay tuned for the next one.